If you'd like to dive into development but don't feel ready to take on any of those beefy 3D engines, Game Maker Studio 2 is a fantastic tool to pick up, practice, and produce your own 2D works. The software was first designed by Mark Overmars and was released in the fall of 1999 under the title of Animo. At that time, it was just a graphics tool with some basic visual scripting, but in subsequent updates, it began life anew as a general purpose 2D game development engine called Game Maker. By the time 2007 rolled around, Mark partnered with a company called YoYo -Yo Games, which was founded to support the engine's development and help build its community, paving the way for its studio debut. The version we know today, Game Maker Studio 2, had its beta in November of 2016 and saw a commercial release in the following March. While the build that preceded it had its IDE built in the antiquated Delphi language, the sequel saw it enter the modern age with an environment constructed with C-sharp and C++ at runtime. It also boasts layer-based editing, level inheritance, and an automatic tiling system for all your scene-assembling needs. With over a decade of development behind them, YoYo -Yo Games says the software is the ultimate 2D environment with no barriers to entry, which it claims with confidence thanks to its intuitive drag-and-drop system. If programming isn't your forte or you're lacking experience, D&D allows you to lay out nodals that'll help you visualize code logic with less abstraction. You can also cut, copy, and quick search through those nodals, so you won't be missing out on the speed and ease of editing that written lines provide. Once you start feeling more comfortable with everything and want greater control over all the elements, the engine supports its own language called GML, which is based on C, and there's plenty of documentation to review and figure out how it all works. You'll find an active community of developers across their social media extensions and community forums too, so you won't be alone if you need guidance or support to get through your project. There's plenty of folks out there who are quick to dismiss the engine, but just look around their showcase page and you'll see that there's plenty of fantastic titles being produced with it. If all that talent intimidates you though, just head over to the Learn tab and watch a few videos They'll help you understand the basics and offer a few examples of how to assemble a simple game through drag and drop or code. If those tutorials manage to win you over, you can download a free trial that doesn't have an expiry date. The only catch is you can't export and release games with that edition, but it's a great way to feel around and see if you want to invest a bit to launch something later. A developer's license for desktop use is a reasonable sum of 99 American dollars. Or you can subscribe for 12 months of either the Mac or PC license for 39 bucks if you aren't interested in commitment and fancy yourself a fan of short-term savings. There's educational discounts for as little as $30, but there's a 5 seat minimum that you'd want to take advantage of with friends to justify the purchase. Once you start looking into the mobile and console deals, the bills start to get a little heftier. You'll only want those licenses once you're nearing the end of development and think you'll have a reliable return on investment launching on other platforms. But whether you want to go all in with a desktop license or prefer to sample it for free, you should definitely download the tool today. Whatever the price of admission, you'll be a bonafide game maker in no time.